we are going to take a look at the Pythagorean theorem and how we can use it to find the hypotenuse of a triangle. Our question is, what is the length of the hypotenuse? So first, starting with a quick vocabulary review, the hypotenuse of a right triangle is always the side directly across from the right or 90 degree angle. So we know this is our 90 degree angle because it has our symbol. So C has to be the hypotenuse. The other two sides of our triangle that make up the 90 degree angle are called our legs. So the sides that are marked 6 millimeters and 8 millimeters are the legs of the triangle. Now the reason that this vocabulary is really important is when we use our Pythagorean theorem, and the Pythagorean theorem says a squared plus b squared equals c squared, we always have to set it up so that the legs are A and B. And it doesn't matter which leg you call which. We'll call one A, we'll call the other one B. But the hypotenuse always has to be C, meaning the hypotenuse always has to be squared by itself on one side, and the legs are always the one where you add the squares together. All right, so now we can plug our information into our formula. So we labeled A as our side that was eight millimeters, so that's going to be 8 squared. B is our side that was 6 millimeters. So that's going to be 6 squared in place of B squared. And our hypotenuse we don't know. So we're going to leave that as C squared. OK, remember your order of operations. You need to do exponents before you add. So we're going to start by squaring those two numbers before we try to add them together. So 8 squared, or 8 times 8, is 64. And 6 squared, or 6 times 6, is 36. And when we add that together, it's going to be equal to c squared. OK, well, adding that up, 64 plus 36 gives us 100. So we know 100 is equal to c squared. But I don't want to know what c squared is. I want to know just c. So I have to use my inverse or opposite. Remember, the square root is the opposite of squaring something. So I'm going to take the square root of both sides. So over here, square and square root cancel, leaving me with just c. Now, when I take the square root of 100, normally we would say there's two answers, because 10 times 10 gives us 100. Negative 10 times negative 10 also gives us 100. But when we're looking at a triangle, it doesn't make sense to have a negative side length. It has to be positive. So we're going to say c is equal to 10 millimeters. We're going to find the length of the hypotenuse. Now, just like last time, it helps to identify the two sides making up the 90 degree angle are our legs, and the side across from the 90 degree angle is our hypotenuse. And then we're going to be using our Pythagorean theorem, which we can use to find a missing side of any right triangle, a squared plus c squared, a squared plus b squared equals c squared. Okay, that's our Pythagorean theorem. And then plugging in our numbers. And for the legs, pick one to call A, the other to call B. It doesn't matter which is which, as long as C is the hypotenuse. That's the important part. So in place of A, I'm going to plug 9. So we've got 9 squared. In place of B, I'm going to substitute 12. And C, we don't know, so we have to keep that as our variable. Okay, 9 squared or 9 times 9 gives us 81. 12 squared or 12 times 12 gives us 144. And that's going to be equal to C squared. And notice I did my exponent before I added because I'm following my order of operations. And now I'm ready to add 81 plus 144. That's going to give me 225. 
So 225 is equal to c squared. To get c by itself, well, the opposite of squaring something is taking the square root. Take the square root of both sides. Now the square root of 225 is 15. And I know it's going to be positive 15 because it's a side length on a triangle. And the square and square root cancel out, leaving me with c. So c must be 15 centimeters. What is the length of the hypotenuse? Okay, well I see I've got a right triangle. I'm gonna label my legs A and B. And I know that my hypotenuse is going to be C. Setting up my Pythagorean, Pythagorean theorem, A squared plus B squared equals C squared. And then substituting or plugging those numbers in. So I'm going to substitute 9 in place of A. So we've got 9 squared. I'm going to substitute 12 in place of B. Okay, so this is the same problem we saw just a moment ago. 9 squared is 81, 12 squared is 144. When I add them together, 81 and 144 give us 225. So I'm going to go pretty fast here since we just saw this problem. And we know that that gave us 15. What is the length of the hypotenuse? Okay, well I'm gonna start by labeling my legs A and B. My hypotenuse is already labeled C. And I know I'm gonna be using the Pythagorean theorem, A squared plus B squared is equal to C squared. So when I substitute my numbers in, I'm gonna say three squared. I'm gonna put four in place of B And then exponents before we add. 3 squared or 3 times 3 gives me 9. 4 squared or 4 times 4 gives me 16. And then when I add those together, 9 plus 16 is 25. So 25 is equal to c squared. And then to solve for c, the opposite of squaring something is a square root. So I'm going to take the square root of both sides. The square root of 25 is 5. So, so C is equal to 5 meters.